<coughs> Dear class, today I will be persuading you into agreeing with school and games being used in one another. I know some of you guys in this class may or may not play games, whether it's Minecraft, Call of Duty, or Boy Kisser 3000. Now, while you may think that games are fun, and that games distract students, how could teachers possibly ruin this? I'm here to tell you that teachers still find a way to ruin your favourite video games. However, there is a way to engage students in their video game education whilst keeping it enjoyable. Here are my reasons. Many games have actually run surveys on Education Edition for their games, and have seen not only major absurd improvement, but students also looking forward to their lessons. These education games started back in November the 1st in 2016, with the launch of Minecraft Education Edition. The idea of MCE, Minecraft Education Edition, was to get students involved in their lessons. What and why is MCE? As I said before, MCE was a classroom controlled version of Minecraft. It originally was revolved around coding and scripting. Students were showing major engagement in lessons. They introduced things like chemicals, science, and elements to mix into craftable things. They added more things to teach, math and English, included more ores, and even for the younger children who were developing, they made maps for colours and ABCs and added items to teach spelling. MCE succeeded severely around the globe and was brought to schools, even ones in Perth. But why? Hey, Vsauce. My personal belief is that I'd say about, well, all of you would have played Minecraft at least once or watched oh, a video so. about it. I mean, right? Can you tame those? Is it possible? Uh, no. How little I can change in one year. As you guys know, Minecraft is a free roam world where you interact with anything and everything inside it. If I'm going to be completely honest, I have no, absolute no idea why students even like games, to be honest, but I do know it's certainly more engaging and entertaining than moving a pen all day. My history and learning within games. Now, I'm not saying to go out and use the Call of Duty campaign and massacre a village so you can learn about your spelling words. Remember, no Russian. They can be actual educating things in popular games. For the past two years in my old school, I never had a history class. And any time before that, I thought history was boring and sh**. And I never thought to pay attention, nor ever do work. So then why do I never shut up in class? My friends introduced me to a game that is literally just a historically accurate, if you let it be, World War II strategy game. It taught me amazing things about communism and fascism and other ideologies. It gave me interest in topics like the Black, pay, uh, Black Plague, F Black Plague, and the Great War, and all of the British Empire's colonizing. After running an intense survey, asking Xavier across the room if he agrees with it, like this. Oi, Zav, yo, do you agree with games being used with education or something? Well, what, 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 what do you mean? Like, I'm asking the questions here, buddy. All right, I'm asking yes or no. Do you agree? Uh, yeah, I guess I have to. I came to the conclusion that. Out of everyone I asked, 100% of the surveillants agreed with me. I mean, seriously, stock photos... It's taken by pho photographers telling you to act as if you're experiencing what's happening firsthand. So tell me, if you were to search a stock image saying doing schoolwork, the actors would, be, would depict frustration, sadness, or stress. But if you were to search playing games, it would come up with friends, bonding, and happy people, and not emotions of neglect. Seriously, search it up right now. I'll do it for you, here. Damn,
Since she did what I say so Two big bodies in a big ass Draco Three more millions when you ask how my day go Hold up Reasons why I would be against it Now, I've told you why we should allow it and develop into it Let me be non-biased and look into the other side of this argument I'd say the most obvious problem is how you play games and do work Playing isn't a schoolwork associated thing. I mean, schoolwork is meant to organize and teach you to get used to a writing environment for your future jobs. And why would a student who refuses to do work be able to have fun instead? You're just teaching them to not live a life of dif discipline. Games for education is a want, not a need. So why do we have it? Another counter argument would be then why do we have this projector that you're watching my video on, miss? Huh? I can just have the speech, okay? No. Um, but why do we do the attendance on a device if you can always just do it on a piece of paper? I mean, you would probably say it makes things easier and a fresher, quicker idea to save more time. So, so who said an education game can't fit into this as well? Stop being against it because you were brought up in a different time with, in quotation marks, better ways of learning. This is our future and our life, and I believe we should contribute into a future with technology and school environment. In my conclusion, I think games involving education should be used as a reward when the class achieves goals or to engage attention deficient students. I believe games have more purpose and they don't corrupt young minds. No matter what people say, it does not corrupt young minds. I for one would love to text a family relative letting them know I can make it to my granddad's funeral without getting my phone taken off me. This is our future technology. A whole future is going to be based on this. So, why are you limiting this from us? Anyways, that was my speech. Alright, bye.